Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. I welcome you to our today's topic of discussion. The topic is chlorine and its compounds. Uh, this topic is offered at Form 3 level and it's one of the major topics that are tested in KCSE. Now the first thing that we'll do before we get into the details about uh, chlorine and its compounds, uh, we'll discuss the chapter objectives. What are the requirements for every learner by the end of this particular chapter? Uh, the first objective, uh, a learner should be able to describe the preparation, uh, properties, and uses of chlorine. The second uh, objective is also to be able to describe the preparation of hydrogen chloride, which is one of the compounds of chlorine. Objective number three is to uh, describe the effect of a solvent on the properties of hydrogen chloride. Number four, uh, to describe and explain the large scale manufacture, the large scale manufacture of hydrochloric acid. And lastly, number five is to explain the pollution effects of chlorine and its compounds. So those are the objectives of this particular chapter. Uh, the first objective is to be able to prepare chlorine gas, discuss its properties and uses. Objective number two, to describe the preparation of hydrogen chloride gas, its properties and also uses. And number three, to describe the effect of a solvent on properties of hydrogen chloride. Number four, we shall describe and explain the large scale manufacture of hydrochloric acid. And lastly, number five, we shall explain pollution effects of chlorine and its compounds. So having gone through the, the objectives, uh, then we'll get into the introduction. Uh, basically, the introduction is to tell us uh, basically about chlorine. Uh, first of all, uh, we know that uh, chlorine is an element <clears throat> that occurs in group 7. 
in group 7 of the periodic table. It is a non-metallic element. Is a non-metallic uh, element. with an electron arrangement of 287. And that, of course, is the one that guides us towards knowing that uh, chlorine is in group 7. The fact that it has 7 electrons in the outermost energy level. Uh, Chlorine exists as a gas, and this gas exists as a diatomic molecule. So chlorine exists in gaseous form as a diatomic molecule. That is a molecule that is made of two atoms. So a diatomic molecule is a molecule that is made of two atoms. And that's why we write uh, the formula for chlorine gas as Cl2. Showing that it exists as a diatomic molecule. A molecule that is made up of two atoms. Uh, naturally, uh, chlorine exists not as, an ele not as a, a pure element, but combined with other elements. That means it exists naturally as a compound. So it exists naturally in compounds such as sodium chloride such as sodium chloride in rock salt in rock salt or in sea water so sodium chloride can either exist as a rock salt that is in solid form, or it can exist as a solution in uh, the seawater. So basically, that's an introduction about chlorine. It's an element that occurs in group 7 of the periodic table. It's an unmetallic element with an electron arrangement of 287, hence group 7. It exists in gaseous form as a diatomic molecule, which is chlorine gas, a Cl2. And then naturally, it occurs in compounds such as sodium chloride. And sodium chloride is mainly in rock salt and sea water. So the next thing that uh, I would like us to go through is the laboratory preparation. chlorine gas. How is chlorine gas prepared in the laboratory? And uh, to prepare chlorine gas, uh, you need concentrated hydrochloric acid and you also need a strong oxidizing agent. So, for example, uh, we can say uh, that uh, uh, chlorine is prepared by oxidation of conch or concentrated hydrochloric acid using manganese four oxide We can use manganese 4 oxide. We can also use potassium manganate 7. 
we can also use lead four oxide all those are suitable oxidizing agents that can be used so chlorine is prepared by oxidation whereby concentrated hydrochloric acid is uh, oxidized using manganese for uh, oxide and this reaction requires heat to speed up the reaction requires heat to speed up the rate of oxidation so we're going to have a diagram and this diagram shows how the setup is made So we have a diagram showing the laboratory preparation of uh, chlorine gas and we are preparing the gas by oxidation of concentrated hydrochloric acid using manganese four oxide as the oxidizing agent and we are saying that the reaction uh, requires heat to speed up the reaction. So after the the chlorine has been uh, uh, obtained here it is passed through water to dissolve any impurities of hydrogen chloride gas that may be there of course arising from conch hydrochloric acid so any impurities of hydrogen chloride gas they are absorbed at this point because they are highly soluble in water then the gas is dried by passing it through conch sulfuric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid, and then finally the gas is collected by downward, dis uh, downward delivery or upward displacement of air. So the gas being collected here is chlorine gas. Uh, to test that it is actually chlorine gas, a moist blue lit mass paper is placed at the top of the gas jar uh, to see the changes that will happen so basically on that uh, we are saying that uh, conch hydrochloric acid plus manganese four oxide is a solid that reaction uh, produces chlorine gas which is being collected there. There is also manganese 2 chloride. And that is a solution plus water. So that is the equation for the reaction uh, that takes place uh, there. So to balance it, you can check the hydrogens. There are two uh, oxygen. Uh, it's two and one. Can make this to be two. That is balanced. Chlorine. There are two and two. That is uh, four. Can put a four there. Four hydrogens as well. Manganese is one. Oxygen. There are two, and that equation is balanced as it is. So we are saying that the gas is then passed through water to absorb the highly soluble hydrogen chloride gas which is an impurity and then then the gas 
is passed through conch sulfuric acid to remove moisture or to dry the gas then the gas is collected by downward delivery because it is denser than air it is denser than air so from that we'll have uh, an assignment So the first question in the assignment, state how chlorine gas is prepared using manganese for oxide. Number two, why is chlorine gas passed through water and B, concentrated sulfuric acid? And lastly, number three, write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction above. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye.